What is up, guys? Beastslayer9762 here today. Back with part three of Detroit Become Human. November 5th, 2038. Let's get right into it. 9.42 p.m. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Leo, oh, look who's here, my father's plastic toy. Leo, what's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave, now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special, anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody. Damn, I killed him. Leo. Oh my god. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Oh, I, I, I didn't mean to. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Well, shit. Damn. We completed it. 
broken. The after party, 68% completed of broken. November 6, 2038. What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. Hank We're wasting tense. our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Okay then. Let's interrogate this son of a bitch. These are all burns and reach optimal stress for confession. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Listen. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. Yeah, what did happen? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. Hold on, guys. I need to call my friend real quick. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Messaging me. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like just you. Just pay attention to the stuff. You I know. just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Yeah. Then talk to me. What's good? Uh, I. Yo, Ryan. Yeah. I can't. I'm making. I'm making a video right now. That's why I'm not responding to you. Uh, I'm making it right now. You can either stay on the phone or you can hang up. It's your choice. You leave me no choice. Uh, 
Okay, I'll see you. Um, after the video, maybe. Anyway, see you. Access its memory. I know what happened. Leave interrogation room. Let's get it. What the fuck is it? It's destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! Android shot Connor and itself. 35% complete. Interrogation. John's coffee, organic coffee. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Somewhere to spend the night. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. We need to find some place. <coughs> Wait, what is that? It's uh, uncomfortable but safe. How to get in? Return to Alice.
Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. That's what they mean by check house, I guess check this place. Rebuilt Southwest destroy Detroit. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Fence here with a wire cutter. There's nothing more this way. A motel. Oh. Looks like we found a place to stay. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. Get forty dollars and fine clothes. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night?
He looks abandoned. Stand back, Alice. dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Mm. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe no, I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Can we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? Promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever? Great, now it's starting to storm outside. In real life, it's starting to storm outside. Damn, we didn't even do much. <laughs> At least we completed it, though. 15% completed fugitives. November 6, 2038. This game takes place in 2038. The whole time. Oh shit, it was that dude that the cop shot in the last part.
lot of shit in this game. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest satellite mission center. Damn, it's loud up in here.
on the slope. Okay, so we're fully functional again. My name is Marcus. And he remembers his name. And he looks like a human too. Seven percent completed from the dead. From the dead. Think of one more and then we'll be good. November six, twenty thirty eight, nine fifty six AM. Find Amanda.
How many times do I gotta examine this thing? Anyway, never mind. Let's just go find her. Connor Mark two Connor Mark one first Connor Mark the second died at DPD station Detroit in November six August fifteenth died at one five five four Parks Avenue Detroit was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It could have killed everyone in the room. The previous Connor should have anticipated the danger. It was a mistake to let an armed policeman so close to the Deviant. This... Deviant. Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I find him unpleasant and unprofessional. He seems to have an addictive personality, has a lack of respect for procedure, and despises androids, which makes our relationship difficult. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Detroit City Police Department. Get her 
reception. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. What's the desk at? Oh, shit. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw and an international conference to be held. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll Shouldn't keep you informed long. minute by minute as the situation develops. Find his desk. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Excuse me, do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Explore new office. Famous desk, explore the police station. Knights of the Black Death. I think that's what it said. I didn't read it fast enough.
Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! says they cut it with something. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Damn. Ugh. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. Check on Hank, progress the case. Detroit today. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Analyze agency files. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. 
I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Hi, honey. Oh. You okay? A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Baby? Yeah, there is one. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Missing suspect, suspect, missing, scan all files, damn. 243 files, first dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Six percent completed, waiting for Hank. Anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna end it here. guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one peace